Hey everybody, it's WireDogSec. Today's video, we're going to take a look at this learning path called Pre-Security. So this learning path will teach you the prerequisites, technical knowledge to get started in cybersecurity to attack or defend any technology. You have to first learn how this technology works. You know how I preach the fundamentals and the basics of information technology everyone should learn and understand because they're going to apply throughout your career. So we're going to take a look at this learning path here and progress through it going through and reviewing as you can see i've already done it before the path is 100 percent complete but we're going to go over various different topics here introduction to cybersecurity, network fundamentals how the web works linux fundamentals and windows fundamentals now without further ado let's go ahead and get into it Hey everybody, just a quick little blurb here. As you can see here, most people that view my channel are not subscribers. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're enjoying the video, please consider hitting the like button. It helps get me in the algorithm, helps spread the good word out there, helps bring more people and increase our glorious community here. All right, I'm all about helping out others. I know what it's like to come up in cybersecurity or even try to get into cybersecurity and not knowing where to look. I'm just having this channel up so I can help out other people. All right, that's all I got. All right, the first topic of discussion is going to be what is offensive security? In short, offensive security is the process of breaking into computer systems, exploiting software bugs, and finding loopholes in applications to gain unauthorized access to them. To be a hacker, you need to behave like a hacker, finding vulnerabilities and recommending patches before a cyber criminal does, as you'll do in this room. On the flip side, there's also defensive security, which is the process of protecting an organization's network and computer systems by analyzing and securing any potential digital threats. Learn more in the digital forensics room in a defensive cyber role. You could be investigating infected computers or devices to understand how it was hacked, tracking down cyber criminals, or monitoring infrastructure for malicious activity. Now, offensive security is also known as the red team, which is why this is red, and defensive security is known as the blue team, which is why this is blue. Answer the questions below, which of the following options better represents the process where you simulate a hacker's actions to find vulnerabilities in a system? Well, we know above that's gonna be offensive security, right? So let's go ahead and copy and paste that in there. Remember it said that we we're looking for bugs any type of vulnerabilities and systems, et cetera, et cetera, hacking two systems. So that's going to be that answer. Task number two here says hacking your first machine. So let's go ahead and start this up before going into cyber security careers and what offensive security is. Let's get you hacking. And yes, it's legal. All exercises are fake simulations. And it's absolutely important here. You don't want to just go around trying to hack into different systems that you do not have permission to hack into or systems you don't own because that is against the law. And next thing you know, the feds might be knocking on your door. Your first hack, click start the machine button, which we've already done. Once loaded, split screen browser. And this is basically just going over what we're going to be I'm attacking here, fake bank application called fake bank. If you don't see the machine appear, you just show split view, which we'll do here in a minute. Once it finishes loading up, we'll use the command line application called GoBuster to brute force fake bank's website to find hidden directories and pages. GoBuster will take a list of potential page or directory names and tries accessing a website with each of them. If the page exists, it will tell you. So let's go ahead and see if this starts up any second now. And let's see where it's at. She show split view. There we go. All right. Now we're cooking. All right. It says we need to open a terminal, a terminal also known as the command line also, or allows us to interact with the computer without using a graphical user interface on the machine, open the terminal and use the um, terminal icon. All right. So we already have it open here. Here's the terminal icon. Got it open. Stuck. See the video. Find hidden message or website pages. Most companies will have an admin portal page, giving their staff access to basic admin controls for day-to-day -day operations. For a bank, an employee might need to transfer funds or money to and from client accounts. Often, these pages are not made private, allowing attackers to find hidden pages that show or give access to admin controls or sensitive data. Type the following command into the terminal to find potentially hidden pages on 
fake bank's website using GoBuster, a command line security application. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to copy and paste it and make it easier for me. Put it in here. There we go. And then do the same over here. Paste. Awesome. Now I'm going to hit enter, see what it does here. The command will run and show you an output similar to this. Yep, and it looks like it's doing its thing here. It's going through, doing that brute force directory discovery attempts here. See what it finds is finished. And let's see here. Let me move this over a little bit. It said it found a bank transfer status code is 200. All right. And the above command dash u is used to state the websites we're scanning. Dash w takes a list of words to iterate through to find hidden pages. That's right. Remember, it's using it's doing a brute force attack, so it's using some kind of um, list file to sift through. You will see the or that GoBuster scans the website with each word in the list, finding pages that exist on the site. GoBuster will have told you the pages it found in the list of page slash directory names indicated by status 200. Yep, we've got the same results. Status 200. Step number three: hack the bank. You should have found a secret bank transfer page that allows you to transfer money between accounts at the bank slash bank dash transfer. Type the hidden page into the fake bank website on the machine. This page allows an attacker to steal money from any account, which is a critical risk for the bank. As an ethical hacker, you would, with permission, find vulnerabilities in their application and report them to the bank to fix before a hacker exploits them. Transfer $2,000 from the bank account 2276 to your account, account number 8881. So let's go ahead and do that here. Now it said it wanted us to go ahead and plug this transfer one in there, right? So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Forward slash in there. Let's see. All right. Did not copy. Oops. Another terminal opener. All right. Let's try this again. Do that and then a copy and we're just going to paste it over here get it in there there we go awesome now it wants us to transfer this money so we're going to transfer from this bank account which is this 2276 and we're going to send it to our bank account 8881 and it wants us to transfer two thousand dollars so let's go ahead and do that in and then hit send money all right to success transfer completed you have successfully completed the transfer here are the details for reference and it says, if your transfer was successful, you should now be able to see your new balance reflected on your account page. Go there now and confirm you got the money. You may to need to refresh for the changes to appear above your account balance. You should now see a message indicating the answer to this question. Can you find the answer you need? So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Let's see. I believe I was already on that page, right? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, hit refresh. There we go. There we go. Yep. All right. Go to the count balance to see the answer to this question. Let's see. I might have scrolled past it. There we go. Bank hacked. So that's going to be the answer to this one. Bank dash hacked. Awesome. Now let's continue on here with the next objective. If you were a penetration tester or a security consultant, this is an exercise you'd perform for companies to test for vulnerabilities in their web applications. Find hidden pages to investigate for vulnerabilities. So go ahead and complete that. Terminate the machine by clicking the red terminate button at the top of the page. So we'll hit complete here and let's go ahead and terminate it. Top of the page here and then there we go. Yes, terminate the machine. Awesome, so that task is complete. Now let's continue on to task number three here says careers in cybersecurity how can i start learning people often wonder how others become hackers security consultants or defenders security analysts fighting cybercrime and the answer is simple break it down learn an area of cybersecurity you're interested in and regularly practice using hands-on exercises build a habit of learning a little bit each day on try hack me and you'll acquire the knowledge to get your first job in the industry trust us you can do it just take a look at s some people who have used Try Hack Me to get their first security job. So be sure to check these out if you haven't already done so. You got Paul, Cassandra, Brandon. It says, What careers are out there? The 
Cyber Career Room goes into more depth about the different careers in cyber. However, here's a short description of a few offensive security roles. You got penetration tester, red teamer, security engineer. So be sure to read these descriptions here if you're interested. And that is pretty much it for this room. All right, now penetration testing is awesome. That's the offensive security side of things. So it's red teaming, right? P red teaming is basically like a penetration tester on crack. All right, it's more specialized. You're pretending to be like an APT, which is advanced persistent threat, right? You're emulating or simulating an APT group when you break, try to break into um, the organization, right? It says play the role of an adversary attacking an organization and providing feedback from an enemy's perspective. It's awesome stuff here. And of course, security engineer, design, monitor, maintain security controls, networks, systems to prevent cyber attacks. Of course, there's a plethora of cybersecurity roles out there. I'll have a link in the description box for a SANS poster of like cool cybersecurity jobs. Actually, we'll take a look after I get done with this room here. So let's go ahead and jump over there and take a look at those career paths. All right, so mark complete, and now we're done. We're here on the SANS website area. Now, I believe you need an account in order to access this cool graphic here, this cool PDF here. It says coolest careers in cyber. Has the legend up here, talks about the curriculum that it reflects, and then it also highlights which course from SANS that you can take that will help you in this career path or help you obtain this job title, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Now we're not going to cover all this because there's a ton of job titles here. All right. Now, see, hopefully you guys can see that here. It says threat hunter, threat slash warning analyst, this expert. Applies new threat intelligence against existing evidence to identify attackers that have slipped through real-time detection mechanism, et cetera, et cetera. Now, each of these have a brief description of it. Tells you why the role is important. Recommended courses. You can just go through and review whichever ones you're interested in. You know, maybe take note of a few of them you're interested in and then focus on the criteria of the courses. So take a look at the courses and then take a look at what the, what the courses are teaching, what hands-on skills are needed or what knowledge is needed in order to land this potential job. All right, now you don't have to go through and take these SANS courses, but of course this is a SANS poster, so of course they're going to recommend their own courses. I recommend doing the free stuff wherever you could find it. Do that first and then consider taking a paid for course like SANS. Because SANS training is very expensive. I recommend having your employer pay for it if possible. But that's all that I have to show for this area. Like I said, I will have the link in the description box below for the Try Hack Me Room and also for the SANS area that has this poster in. Now, you probably need to set up an account in order to access this particular PDF. That's all, folks, for this video. Hopefully, you found it informative. Now, if you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you're new here, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And I want to hear you guys' thoughts, opinions inside of the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you later.